Homeowners on 20th Street have not been able to use their roadway due to construction on a water main since late July. These road issues trickled on to limp on August 25th when a sinkhole opened up. Yeah, of course it's been a hassle. You know, the um, both the front and rear access to our our home has been compromised for quite a while. Sean Titus, a resident on 20th, says the loud noises outside makes working from home much more difficult. It's very disruptive, um, and so it's been it's had quite an impact on our daily life for sure. So you can't have a, a call or a meeting or anything without that happening. And so it's, it's very, very challenging, right? I've spoken to several homeowners who prefer to stay anonymous, but they've said that it's been inconvenience after inconvenience with the construction, whether it's their car getting blocked in from both sides in the alley to drilling in their front yard without even being told. Talking with several neighbors, I heard that some of the streets, power and water had also been shut off as a result of some of the construction. However, one of the most common complaints was the lack of communication to the residents by the city. We had a two, I think one or two hour notice that the alley was going to be closed for weeks. Um, if ACHD could, could give it a little bit more of a heads up for like closing down the alleys. Um, for example, some people have trailers and garages and they can't get them out because the alley's been closed. And so just give people a little bit of time to get um, the, their uh, self-situated. People in the neighborhood agree that the construction has been an inconvenience, but they understand the need for repair projects. We're, it's infrastructure work that has to happen, so 100% appreciate what they're doing, and they, the response has been phenomenal. As you can see, they put a lot of resources into fixing this problem as quickly as possible. I reached out to ACHD, and depending on the weather, construction is scheduled to wrap up next week. Reporting in Boise, I'm Alexander Huddleston, Idaho News 6.